first gen tundra the big debate should i take the bed off and do a flat bed should i find a better bed well i found a better one so i'm not doing the flat bed project quite yet but this video is good for those who want to do a flat bed project and see what the it's like to take the bed off and what's underneath so we got six bolts on the top i used an impact gun to get those off detach the uh, wiring for the brake lights and i had some extra wiring from trailer brake controller and just look under there and make sure you don't have any other miscellaneous wires attached to the bed as you start to lift up you also remember the gas push the gas um, filler neck through you can just simply push it through and unscrew a couple bolts over there so now I'm just kind of showing you the other wires as I lifted it up a few inches checking the clearance on everything I'll show you the gap uh, the gas filler part later but um, yeah, I used my kid's swing set and some ratcheting straps to lift this baby up. That works pretty good. Worked out pretty good. So I lift up, you know, with my own weight or friend's weight and then tighten the, the ratchet straps when they've got some looseness to them, not, not tensioned. What I'm showing there is that we're two bolts that connect the filler neck and keep it sturdy. Um, and supported under there and you'll need to undo those and they're in those holes and to that bracket there so yeah here's the swing set as i said and you could build this out of you know four by fours a couple a frames and but here now i've got the bed up and uh raised up enough and make sure you clear the tires and i pulled the truck out um clear and free from the bed and now i'm looking at the frame this frame was replaced under the recall and so it is, you know, better shape than the original, but it does have some rust starting to grow. I'm looking down here um, at the gasket on the gas tank because I get kind of a gas uh, fuel smell sometimes when I'm driving or stop the truck. I'll have to um, spin those off with the special tool that I have. Um, those were the Torx uh, bolts that broke off um, that I had to cut off, actually. To, a couple of them were not coming out and stripped out let's see here so taking a look from the side view I just want to kind of show you if you're gonna do a flatbed what the level is and what kind of sticks up so you got some wiring sticking up there and um, the shock mounts some more wiring there's a flat spot there you can use and you want to put like a spacer or something and mount through there you can but you only need to maybe a couple inches up so you got to clear this tire hanger or remove that completely um, and make sure you leave enough room for your suspension you know for your wheel travel um, those would be the considerations for doing a flatbed on here if you're making one your own if I was going to do it I'd just cut the bed sides off and um, weld on so a frame around the, the original bed floor that was there that way it's already mounted and secure and uh, add some reinforcement and it'd be perfect here we got a nice solid surface save a lot of money so yeah there's a view from the side <clears throat> yeah it was uh, you know easier than I thought and, and I, I did use a helper to kind of make sure I was clearing as I was pulling out clearing everything so looking at the bed now and the condition um you know what <laughs> actually my other bed is worse and so I'm I'm going to be using this one uh believe it or not it's actually in a lot better condition than my uh other bed but it, it does have a fair amount of rust on it uh it's got the wheel, uh, fender fender guards which I really like and wanted um to cover up some of the, the rusty fenders I have and the wheel wells are solid in this one just one little bit of rust there, rusted through, um, made the front of that portion a little loose, and it's got one rust spot there on the side. At this point in the project I got both beds off and what I did was slide the swing set frame forwards and then pull in my truck and lift off uh, the bed of my original truck. This is the one I'm going to swap on to the uh, parts truck shall I say and that was the rest, state of the rust now I'll go compare the trucks this is the parts truck it's a limited trim um, the frame had been replaced and I've washed it pressure washed it all off now and it's just still some rust growing now here's mine 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 also had a recall mine's SR5 
um, the frame looks to be a little less rusty <coughs> on mine my um, spare tire carrier works uh, I got almost half as many miles as my parts truck that thing super rusty and that plastic piece seems to have broken on both the trucks it makes it hard to let it down so I'm checking my gas tank here as well and looking at the exhaust uh, my exhaust was replaced not too long ago I'll have to get a new one for the parts truck when I get ready to sell it the gas tanks looking okay but I do get that smell after this I want to show you one more thing there was a strange misalignment of the bed and the the truck and I put both beds on both the parts truck and so I know it's a problem of the parts truck and it looks like the space is uneven between that step bar and I know that should be equal so the actual cab is dipping down in the rear section uh, they must have forgot like a rubber rubber um, body mount or something and so the front of the cab is actually higher than the back and that's why you see on the back that trim line uh, doesn't line up so that probably happened during the frame replacement um, I don't know why exactly it happened maybe maybe there's actually some rust in the body and it and the body mounts have popped through who knows